Today we're going to see if Ben & Jerry's is worth the calories. We're going to compare two low calorie ice creams to Ben & Jerry's and see how they stack up in terms of taste and texture. Of course, the macros on the lower calorie ice cream is a lot better than the Ben & Jerry's. Ben & Jerry has over a thousand calories per container. These have in the high 200s, low 300s per container. So Ben & Jerry's again has 1100 calories per container with 17 grams of protein. Not good. The way I'm portioning these is by weight. Even though they're all gonna be different weights, the volume of each will stay the same. It's two thirds of a cup for each of them. And I'm gonna explain why that happens later. Next up is the Halo Top. It comes in at 360 calories for the whole container with 19 grams of protein. But look at this consistency though. Although I do think that there is something wrong with this pint of ice cream and I go into more detail later on in the video. Next up is Nick's ice cream with 290 calories and 15 grams of protein for the whole container. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mina. I'm a culinary school grad and a former professional cook. And usually I give you recipes, but today we're gonna try ice creams and we're gonna try Ben and Jerry's ice cream and then compare it to two low calorie ice creams. And we're gonna see, is it really worth the calories? So we're gonna compare it to Halo Top and we're gonna compare it to Nick's ice cream. And I got the same flavor across all three brands just to be the most fair. And this was the only flavor that they had in all three brands. So I went with the chocolate chip cookie dough. And who doesn't love cookie dough? We got the Ben & Jerry's Halo Top Nick's ice cream. So this is all the same amount by volume, not by weight. So these are all two thirds of a cup, which is the same volume, but their weight is different. The lower calorie ice cream weighs less. It's less dense. It has more air in it and the Ben & Jerry's weighs more. It's much more dense. I'm gonna stop talking and start eating because these are melting. And I think we should start with the Ben & Jerry's because we should establish a baseline of what ice cream should taste like. This is what we're going after, real ice cream. So let's try real ice cream first and see how it is. And then we'll compare the rest to it. I'm gonna take a piece without any cookie dough or anything in it, just a plain ice cream. It's not as good as I remember. There is like a little bit of a chemically taste. It's really rich. Very creamy, obviously. Big piece of cookie dough. It's a little sweet. I mean, it's okay ice cream. I've never been a huge fan of Ben & Jerry's. It's okay. I would give this honestly like a seven and a half out of 10. It's okay. I like the cookie dough though. The ice cream itself, eh. All right, so next up is Halo Top. And keep in mind, when I opened this up, it was frozen solid. It was just rock solid. And I think there was something wrong with that container. Because I'm not sure if you're familiar with this or if you buy Halo Top. But if you buy Halo Top, have you noticed that some of the pints are really full and some of the pints are all shrunk? My theory is those shrunken ones have been taken out of the freezer at some point for too long and just left out. And I don't know what happens, but it oozes volume because I have seen other ones that are like full to the brim, but then I see a lot of other ones that are not full. And it's just this like hockey puck inside of the container and it's so solid. Kind of just have to let it melt. So it's pretty melty right now. I can still see ice crystals. I literally see ice crystals on this thing. Still kind of frozen. The cookie dough pieces are okay. They're all right. The chocolate's meh, but the ice cream itself is not good. I, I don't like that taste. I feel like you could really taste the artificial sweetener in this. Whatever artificial sweetener they use, you could really taste it and not in a good way. And if you let it melt a little bit, it's definitely not as icy. I'm getting a little bit of ice crystals in there, but they're not huge. But there is a chemically taste in this that's really just huge. Like a really bad, a vanilla and a medicine. Imagine like a cough syrup taste. And then there's a buttload of vanilla in there. That's what this reminds me of. That's like a four and a half, honestly. All right, last one is NYX. So I've tried another flavor of this before and it was good. So I have some high hopes in this. It melted very quickly though, but you saw what it was like straight out of the freezer, straight out of the container. It was really soft. That's really good. All right, let's try it. Wasn't expecting that. There's some cinnamon in there. This is more of like a snickerdoodle cookie dough. There's also pieces of cookie dough in here, but it's like a snickerdoodle one. Now, in terms of taste, I honestly think this wins over the Ben & Jerry's and Halo Top. This tastes really good. It's not too sweet. 
it's creamy, although it's not as creamy as the Ben & Jerry's, of course. Mm. The texture though, I feel like it's so airy that it doesn't have a lot of dairy in it and it just melts so quickly. This one definitely melted the quickest out of any of them. It feels more like you're eating a lot of air. It's a little bit more airy, but I have to say, it wins over Halo Top. Halo Top, this one was gross. Just really, really gross. I also have these two in my freezer. I have the Cookies and Cream by NYX. And also the Swedish Vanilla. I think something happened to this. I don't know what happened to this. It like exploded or something. I don't know if this is safe to eat, to be honest. It's not sealed anymore. I don't know. I don't know if I trust it. You're not supposed to eat it if the seal's broken, right? It's the worst that could happen. I'll take a spoonful, whatever. That scoops right out of the freezer. And it's been there for weeks. I should try to make something like this. This is what I want to make. I want to make some kind of low calorie ice cream that's like this, that's not necessarily packed with protein, but it's low enough that you could just eat a whole pint and it's kind of dense. It's not so fluffy, super like cloudy almost. I want it to be a dense pint of ice cream like this. This is only 280 calories. That's not bad at all for a whole pint of ice cream. Oh, ice cream, the cookies and cream. That's actually pretty damn good. For 280 calories for a whole pint, you gotta really love Ben & Jerry's to go over to Ben & Jerry's. I could be okay eating this for a long period of time. I feel like the taste is a little bit watered down. <laughs> that's, I feel like that's the best way to describe it. The cookie pieces are good. It tastes like an Oreo. The ice cream itself, it's a little bit watered down. It doesn't have that same rich, fatty, creamy, coat your mouth feeling that you get with the Ben & Jerry's. And it's obvious because this is made with skim milk. But in terms of taste, it tastes really good. It just doesn't have that mouth feel, that creaminess, doesn't have that going on for it. Last one is the vanilla, scoops right out of there. Oh, it's a good consistency. It's creamier than the cookies and cream and the other ones. This is, this is really good. I really like the vanilla. I'm digging the vanilla, it's so soft. Mm. Could use a little bit more vanilla though. I'm struggling to find a vanilla flavor. Like I taste cream, I, I taste a lot of cream. Conclusion, is Ben & Jerry's worth the calories? I personally, I am not a huge fan of ice cream. I am not a fanatic about ice cream. In my opinion, I don't think it's worth the calories all the time. Maybe like once a month or so, you know, it's good like to treat yourself, but I wouldn't rely on it as just a daily ice cream. I think Nick's here was the winner in terms of the texture, the macros, and the taste overall for 280 calories a pint. I don't think you can go wrong. I don't even know how people can eat a whole pint of ice cream in a sitting. I could never do that. Maybe it's just me. I can't eat a lot of ice cream in a sitting. Don't forget as always to leave a comment. Let me know what you wanna see in future videos. As you know, I keep a list of what you suggest to me and I pull from that list a lot of times. Most of my videos that I make right now are just what you suggested to me have compiled in one big list. So leave a comment or just say hi in the comments. That also really helps me. Keep tagging me on Instagram if you make my recipes. I love seeing your creations. It's so cool seeing what you're making and how some of you change my recipes around. You add your own little spins and touches to it or you just apply it to something else. It's cool. I love seeing that. I love seeing how creative people are. Don't be shy. Tag me on Instagram if you make any of my recipes and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.